Hey everyone, my name is Sebastian and welcome to Atmos Seeker, your place for props, terrain and creating an inspiring atmosphere for your tabletop role playing games. In this episode, I'm going to be showing my pack for creating atmosphere while you're DMing on the road. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel to see more videos in the future. Uh, for any of the equipment and tools that I mention, I'll leave links in the description below. The idea is that the tools and equipment that I mention are compact enough for easy transport but are effective tools for creating ambience and atmosphere. So let's take a look. So to show you some of the tools I use, I'm going to transform this dining area into something a bit more fitting for our heroic adventures. So let's have a look at what's inside the atmosphere pack. So first out of the pack is this faux velvet tablecloth. The faux velvet fabric is great for covering modern surfaces and helps contrast well against terrain. The soft texture emotes a feeling of tarot card reading or fantasy and you can buy it by the meter at most craft stores. <clears throat> Next out of the bag is going to be a 30 watt LED floodlight with a colour change feature. I'm just going to be using this to create some ambient light in the room. So I've positioned this behind the GM pointed up at the wall to create a faux sky effect and it also creates some nice ambient light and a dramatic backdrop for effect. Another good light that's good for some theatrics is a little LED strip that I have behind the Dungeon Master's shield. It's just glued to some foam core board that in a couple of strips so it folds away for some easy portability. And I like it because it creates this kind of uh, almost like campfire like lighting. So you have this eerie kind of red light if you're talking to a devil or demon or some greeny sickly light whilst talking to a uh, disturbing hag. It also gives some extra reading light behind the Dungeon Master's screen as well. Also out of the pack I have these LED flickering candles uh, and it creates some nice fantasy elements to the table as well as some dramatic flickering light. I usually bring about one for each player at the table. Helps kind of seal their place around the table and have their own positions. The players are like the flames. To illuminate the play area I've got one of these DJ ripple lights uh, that has a color change feature that you can change with the remote and I've attached it to one of these monopods. It stretches out nice and tall and it has a collapsible tripod in the bottom for easy transport. Uh, to stabilize it a bit better on the table I've got this bag here filled with fishing weights. You can get away with just one of these but I found with a pair you can get some interesting effects with some complementary colors to simulate different environments. Partnered with the floodlight, it can create a truly immersive location or encounter. The ripple lights can also be turned to face the wall or ceiling to intensify the effect around the room. Sound is a very important part for creating ambience at the table. And when you're on the road, it helps to have a good quality audio speaker. Here I'm using the Soundbox Pro by DOS. It has good volume and some good bass for some of those lower rumbling ambiences. Just pair it to a phone or laptop and use some of the great audio sources I recommend in my online audio video. The sense of smell can also be a great way to permeate a sense of immersion. Uh, there are many options to choose from and some are better than others of creating these sensations or memories of these sensations. And often what I have on hand are these adventure scents from Oddfish Games. Some can be more floral than others but there are some standouts like this dark dungeon and fishing docks. I like them because they're flameless and long lasting. If you don't mind carrying a little extra, a smoke machine is a great way to enhance the atmosphere and bring to life all those lights that we just set up. Just be mindful that this will set off smoke alarms, so best have permission before hazing up the place. The effect of the smoke intensifies the lighting and ambience to truly immersive levels, bringing to life that feeling of fantasy and magic from Dungeons and Dragons. Well, I hope you found that useful, and if you did, please hit the subscribe button to see more videos in the future. I'll leave links in the description below to any of the equipment and tools that I've mentioned. I think a lot of them were quite good for encouraging roleplay and increasing that feel of magic and mystery around the game. Until next time, I'm Sebastian and let's create and inspire. See you then.